Welcome back to Citrus Today, final segment for this Friday. Uh, having the pleasure of joined by Rafael Cabrera from the uh, Casita Big Dog Rescue and Nancy Watson from the Friends of Citrus County Animal Services. Uh, two pets up for adoption today, just two of the many that are available to people who are interested. And uh, we talked about that uh, just a few minutes ago. Rafael, you were talking about Hazel. A little more information on her. and. Uh, she's available for adoption she's, she's, today if someone wants her for the weekend. Exactly. <laughs> she's available right now. I offer my services. I do dog behavior modification and dog psychology work. I offer my assistance. I go into the home. If there's any problems that do arise, I will go and take care of it. There's no charge for that. That's part of the adoption. To adopt Hazel from us, it's an, it costs $85. That includes everything from spaying, microchipping, um, all her shots, and, and me working with her on a regular basis to make sure she stays in her home. And anyone who's had a, had a dog, and I know we have, the, the behavior, behavior modification, that's a nice little bonus because there's an adjustment time for a family, for a dog. Exactly. And uh, it's very important because a lot of people, I think, give up on dogs or animals quickly. If you've got someone that can help you get through that process, it's uh, very important. Yes, it is. Uh, I, w I want to thank uh, my sponsor, which is ValuePetSupplies.com. It's an online uh, pet supply company. They, uh, they make it possible for me to go in and to uh, save these animals' lives. Uh, every time someone does shop with ValuePetSupplies.com, a portion of those monies go towards uh, helping save another life from a shelter. So please support my sponsor that helped me to help these dogs. It's very important. Good, good cause in this uh, right up there, Value Pet Supplies. Yes. Uh, big help to everybody here in the county. And uh, we were talking in the break, Nancy, uh, about yes. the shelter and how important it, it really is for people to support it. Volunteers play an important role in, in what you guys do because like a lot of things, not enough people to help out sometimes. And the more volunteers you get, uh, the better it is for everybody. That's correct. Um, we have a very active volunteer staff at the shelter, and we're always looking for new volunteers to come and join us. They can do anything from <clears throat> um, bathing the dogs to walking dogs, working in the office, being a greeter if, if they want to come in and greet people that come in to adopt our pets. Um, we have various uh, functions that we attend throughout the year where we take dogs from the shelter and we try to get them exposed to the public and we also want to get the name of the shelter out there because there are still people living in this county that do not know that there is an animal shelter and that we do have volunteers. We also um, are looking for <clears throat> donations. The donations need not be monetary. They can be donations of towels, um, old bedding, um, food, um, dog leashes, collars, anything of that nature. Um, also things for cats. We, we must not forget yes. we have a big selection of cats at the shelter and any of the ladies at the front desk um, can tell you about any of the pets and what they have to offer. Um, you can go online at www.citruscritters.com and you can see all of the pets, all the dogs that we have for adoption and the cats. And also um, I want to mention that the shelter is um, an open admission shelter, which means that we basically have to take in any pet that um, is given to the shelter. And that is not just dogs and cats, it can be birds, mm -hmm. horses, sheep, pigs, just about anything. And at one point, someone surrendered an emu. So we've seen it all, we've uh -huh. had it all, and because we are open admission, we must take the animals, and uh, we try to find homes for every single one of them. A lot of work involved, and if you're someone looking something to do, a volunteer, this, right. this is a great opportunity. And uh, Rafael, we talked a few minutes ago about uh, what a dog can mean to a family. In this county, a lot of seniors living, yes. maybe some of them with, without a spouse or just looking to brighten their day, pets. Uh, make a huge different, yes, difference in those lives, don't I mean, they? It, it does change a person's life. Uh, like statistics show that, dog, that households that do have dogs in them will add years to a person's life. It's very good for their health and well-being. It will uh, lower their blood pressure, right. lower their yeah. heart rate. Uh, it's just a soothing. It, it's, they're therapeutic and they're, 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 medi they're medicine. They're medicated for, you know, medication for you. Um, children uh, do better in school that do have pets, that statistics show. Uh, they, they become uh, more responsible adults in society, you know, so having a pet is a great thing all around, you know, and, and having a watchdog is no alternative, you know, than a barking dog to deter someone that's coming to do ill to you. 
So it's, it's a great thing to have a dog. It helps right. all around. Yeah, I was going to say, great point uh, about children and kids with a dog. I mean, no better way to teach responsibility, exactly. doing something on a consistent basis, even if it's just putting the food in the bowl every day, but do something, walking the dog. That That's right. teaches kids uh, a lot of things that sometimes the books don't teach you, right? Exactly correct. You know, it makes them, like you said, more responsible and everything. It, it, you know, it... It, it makes them more well-rounded. It sets them up to be good parents and everything. Because once you do have to care for a life, you know, yep. it changes everything. It, it does make a, a large difference. A couple minutes left of the show. One more time about the two pets that we have here. Nancy, tell us real quickly about your dog. If anyone's trying to, to add a little something to their life over the next few days, a perfect opportunity. Absolutely. This little joy, joy handful here, she is pro approximately six years old, and she's a Shih Tzu Maltese mix. And uh, she was a um, owner turn in. The owner had to be um, placed into a home, and the family could not take care of this dog. So she's looking for a home. She is available today, and we're hoping that she finds a home quickly because she is such a sweet dog. Very obviously loves to be close to somebody. Yes, if you're looking she does. for someone to spend some time with and cuddle with, that looks like a, a great dog to go after. Absolutely. And, and Rafael, uh, another one, a, a big dog, but a dog that certainly is sturdy enough for the children. Exactly. And uh, so it could fit in any home, right? In any home. This is, this is a great dog. She will definitely fit into any household and everything. She's not a destructive dog. She's very obedient. She's willing to learn all the time. Uh, I've seen her with children. She's truly amazing. Um, these are the types of dogs that you can find at any of the local shelters and everything. And right. um, you know, uh, make a big difference, save a life, you know, going down there, volunteer, uh, do anything, and um, just, just make a difference in the world. You know, we just spay and neuter, be responsible, do some Absolutely. research before you do go get a dog. But um, a dog like Hazel, this is an amazing thing, you know, this is, uh, she's a diamond in the rough, so there's plenty of dogs down there like her. And let's see if we can spin her around here. So, so <laughs> and these dogs have been see. here for now probably close to an hour, haven't heard one bark, no noise. Yes. Very calm, settled. They're doing a great job. So uh, what you see here is what you're going to get. We've, we've seen this for about an hour now. These are well-behaved pets. Exactly. Exactly. Appreciate it so much for your time. Once again, it's uh, Raphael from C Casita Big Dog Rescue. And uh, Nancy is with the Friends of Citrus County Animal Services. You can see them on Airport Road, or you can give them a call if you're looking for a dog, cat, any pet, 746-8400. Thanks so much for being with us. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday on Citrus Today. Thank you.